Good morning, y'all. It's uh, about 5.30 in the morning right now. I'm at my campsite. Hopefully you watched the last video. We smashed some crappie out here at the lake that I've never crappie fished before. Drove a long ways. We are just remote. The only person in this state park right now, surrounded by tall pine trees. Let me tell you something. When you wake up about 4.30 in the morning and you're just looking around, dead still, quiet. You start thinking about things out there, you know, like the Sasquatches. Maybe, maybe like, you know, a statistic of uh, alien abductions in the remote wilderness. Makes you want to get up and go fishing. Now just briefly, I want to show you guys my setup for last night. This, this thing's actually a game changer. This is the first time I've used this. This is like a little bug uh, net system. Had some mosquito issues, some gnat issues. So I went ahead and just crawled into that and I slept. Oh God, I got a June bug up in my shirt right now. Oh, it's still up in my shirt. Get out of there, get. Anyways, bugs are really attracted to the light. So I'm going to grab just my leftover stuff. We've got all our crappie in the cooler here. We've got our camp cook supplies. Oh God, watch out no. I'm just kidding. And of course we've got are crispy who collected nicely yesterday so we're going to head to a brand new lake today let's roll guys <laughs> well <laughs> we made it out here this uh this was shocking coming to the boat ramp and it is literally full these are the first explorers. This is the this is the Santa Maria parking lot right here. And I'm just idling around. I'm actually surprised that I actually have a map for this lake. I strapped the life jacket on, got the kill switch. We're looking at this, this flooded forest. So I don't know what I'm gonna hit. But I'm gonna take off here and make about a two mile run. That's a big one in the crispy. Let's get it. How's it going? Good. Caught any? Well, we've got our first sign of life right here. A shad. Ah, the old thread fin. Here we go. We're going to throw that swim jig around. Oh, I just had one right there. Ah, I had them on. <laughs> I almost had my first bass right there. Let's see if we got some of that new lake, new lake juice where we'll just come back and bite it. Maybe not. He was not big. What? It's my first. There's one. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, these fish are charged up, man. Woo, baby. First bow dark bass ever. It's a solid keeper. Solid keeper on the grass hero. Pretty fish, man. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Woo! 9.14 a.m. I caught my first bow dark bass. That's pretty cool. So if you look behind me here, this is just trees. <laughs> it's just oak trees and pecan trees. This is crazy. There's literally still hickory nuts on this tree. There's one. Oh, oh that's a better one there. God, he just kind of sucked it in. 
There's a good one there. It's about a three pounder. Nice, healthy fish. Post spawn too. Look at that fish. It's like a 16 inch fish. That was fat. This whole entire lake, the first spot I go to, guess who's in here? Well, let's get the, let's get the, what's the Rob report? How many you got? How big? Um, I've got about 10 fish. 10 fish? Uh, I've got one that's, I've waited because I was so confused. It's four pounds. Four so pounds? like this big. <laughs> it was a crazy, I, I, Super I, I, fat? Dude, it was like just as wide as it was. Yeah. I caught, the first one I caught was standard, you know, 14, 15 incher, kind of skinny. And then the, the next one I caught, it was probably... 16 inches but three pounds yeah. just <laughs> what is the most surprising thing that you've noticed some maybe something that shocked you or just the most interesting thing about fishing a new lake for the first time ever mesquite trees i've never fished in my life like mes like full-blown mesquite trees like if you went back in there dude it's like a 10 foot high mesquite trees with thorns like that big they're just big red nasty things like, yeah. you know the ones that when you hit you, it kind of burns? Yeah, and things? they're probably still green. Dude, they're, yeah, they are way back because the water just came up like two weeks ago. They're just huge mesquite trees back there. Oh, this is cool, guys. I think the potential to get a, a large bass is here. Um, you know, I caught one that was three. He caught a four already. Um, and I think Rob's going to shoot over and fish some windy stuff. I'm going to kind of stay tucked. And uh, <laughs> it's my only option, dude. I got to gotta stay tucked, but it seems like everybody else is going half the lake is over here half the boats so uh, Anyway, I don't know. It's not it's not too bad of a day I might explore the next pocket over and then just see what happens two mesquite trees Fresh this is what Rob was talking about. Look at these mesquites That is going to be absolutely gnarly on the boat Sounds pretty terrible. Bass number three. There he is. See you, buddy. I'm gonna pick up a vibe jig and hit some of this little outer stuff here. I want to know what it's like to get a vibe jig bite from a bass that's never seen one. Boom! Bait. Bait up there. That's the that's the deal. Got one. There he is. Oh man, he just kind of loaded up on it. That fish was right around that bait. I lost him. But that fish was where I saw that bait fish. Bait fish flicking around. He was right there. I love that swim jig for getting up in the brush, but the vibe jig for when it's just out in front of it kind of sparser stuff it's just so efficient yeah he just kind of loaded up on it was swimming with it it wasn't wasn't a hard hit there's another one right by the boat oh my gosh that's a gar who's done that before raise your hand click the like button probably not many people whatever you do do not bite that do not bite that thing off buddy Oh gosh, never caught a gar on a vibe jig. So this right here you can see is an old dam. So I basically just caught that fish right around the pond dam. It looks like another one right here. I think I might see hydrilla. There might have been some hydrilla, some of these old cattle ponds. It has escaped. That would be the best thing ever for this lake. That is hydrilla. Yep. Oh my gosh. That right there just gave me the happies. I've got the happies. Even though it looks crusty and old, hydrilla. Whatever 
whatever you do, do not put grass carp in here. Parks and Wildlife. Please, I beg of you. Oh, another one hit it right there. I wonder if that's crappie. There's one. Oh my god. I think these are crappie. Cro oh, yeah, I just saw the crappie. Either that's a bedding bass or it's a crappie. I just watched it. I just watched it. Take my jig. Somebody brought his crappie pole, because that's just what I do. There he is. That's a bass, though. That's a bass. Oh, I just want to know. I want to know if the crappie. Oh. You are, uh, you're ruining my experiment, sir. Oh my gosh, what a healthy fish. I need to know. I need to know if there's crappie hitting my, my jigs or are these just small bass that aren't getting my jig fully in their mouth? These bass keep uh, interrupting my crappie experiments, but I'll take them. I'll take them. You're just a young bass You're on a new lake. You don't you don't know you don't know the ways. Post spawn. It's awfully sus that I came right back in here where I thought I got a crappie bite, threw a crappie jig, and caught a bass. I could have swore I saw one swirl at the surface. It was so wide, it looked like a crappie. Yeah, there he is. Oh, what kind of fish are you? You're a grass fish, that's what you are. Ooh, God. Just a chunky, healthy fish, my gosh. Look how healthy that fish is. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my god. That one, I watched him eat it. Oh my god, that was cool. That's the biggest one of the day there. Oh, oh man. Golly, I don't know if you saw that, guys. He just came up out of a, t a shallow grass patch and grabbed it. Look at that red tail post spawn. Got to love it. Got to love it. Got to love it. It's a four pounder just about. <laughs> Got another one, boys. Little one. Oh, no spotted bass yet. Just healthy looking largemouth. So I've, how I've caught the biggest one in the last couple, I'm taking my swim jig and I'm just bopping it. I'm, I'm stroking it. That's what it's technically called. And uh, kind of letting it sit on the cover for just a second before I take off with it. And uh, that has triggered the last three strikes. Here we go. Running through the trees, running through the trees.
There's some bait. And there's the fish. That's a good one. Oh, oh my gosh, these fish are charged up. Oh. There, boys. Oh my gosh, four pounder. <laughs> that fish is stocky. It's gone. The jig's gone, boys. That is just a chunk, boys. We gotta give it. We haven't done a full sniff today. Here's to new lakes and fish that are biting. Oh god. Smells so good. Look how beat up that fish is from the spawn. Powerful, powerful bass in here. Love it. Oh, my gosh, we took off with it. Oh, supercharged. Well, the better one's definitely been off. The bank a little bit, no fish, just beat up. Give me a new crawl on here. Look at this, got my tote. Just dig into my, this is kind of convenient. I think I can get through here without having to go all the way around this stuff. I'm in a pond. I just made it into a pond. Nobody's been able to get into. I can promise you. Yep, nobody's been able to get back in here. There's one. <laughs> oh, the crispy. That jig is gone. Jeez. That is so cool, y'all. I mean, look, look at this. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh my God, that fish had it. I was looking the other way. This fish grabbed it. Oh my God. This is a crappie or a bit. This might be a bedding fish. What the heck was that? That felt big though. It felt really big. Like, I felt like I hit a log. Holy crap. Yeah, I wish I was paying attention to that one. That one felt big. I could actually feel the, uh, I could feel the fish's mouth on the line, which means that's a big one. Sucked it in there. Okay, we'll come back to that corner. Feel that one. Felt like I was stuck. There's he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. These are big ones in here. 
Holy monkeys. Guys, these are big ones in here. This is like that other one I was talking about. The jig is gone. Remember I was just saying I felt one suck it and I could feel the teeth on the line before I set the hook? That's what that one just did. I think this is a different fish too. Holy crap, look how beautiful that fish is. Either that was a monstrously aggressive fish or it was a different one. These fish have just not been touched ever. These fish have never been touched. Oh my god. That one ate it right off the stump. They all have that tail mark. Post spawn eaters. Y'all, this is crazy. I have not I have not seen anything like this. up my regular casting jig. I'm going to flip around in here. See if we can get Pina. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just got rocked. Bedding fish. There it is again. That's a bedding fish, y'all. 100%. This is number seven or eight out of this pond. Just done a couple circles in here. <laughs> pond fishing on a lake. This is uh, this is crazy, y'all. Just hanging out, doing a little spawn action, doing a little hangout, doing a little feeding. Very very cool. I might actually end my day on this little bit of magic Just old school pond fishing on the lake I wasn't expecting this it's pretty cool absolutely pumped it right there got him oh my god this is insane I'm like throwing back in there and getting them they're coming back again <laughs> y'all okay fishing a brand new lake awesome awesome let me look at that fish he's almost three pounds these are healthy chunk wads too man healthy chunk wads oh there's like more that are coming in here Oh my god, that was even bigger. What the heck is going on, guys? Oh my gosh. Uh, 
smashed him. Smashed him in here. Look at this guy. He's all red in the face, sore. That's a three pounder. I swear I caught that fish earlier. I swear I caught this fish. We'll have to look back, but I think I caught him. What the heck? This leak is insane. All right. Putting a big high five check mark on this place. Jeez. This is fun. I'm going to try to bust through this other side because it looks like it's, there's some fishable water. We'll see what happens here. I might get stuck. made it through well boys after that little stint right there totally worth it but um, my impeller is not working on the boat so that is a problem we'll try to head in and see if we make it but uh, that is not good We've got something clogged in the impeller I'm assuming dinner tonight is this what we're looking so. at i mean i wanted to make sure that you're on the old catch and cook game you like how i got my life vest on just in case i, I do i do i wore mine for quite a while today Ding something. I don't know <laughs> you're hyping know. this thing up man it might be it might be a great one i the best part about it was i saw him swirl in like two foot of water oh I pitched over to him and he ate it no way you sight fished him yeah but i didn't know it was, I didn't know it was a catfish <laughs> It's just that time of year. Usually late April, May is when they start spawning. That's a channel. Yeah, he's, he's not blue. No, only the finest. Only the finest for Raglas. <laughs> um, do you have those pipe cleaners here? Or is it in your truck? He, he just so happens to have some of these awesome bristle pipe cleaners. I shove it in there and wha-bam. Rob, your, your lasting impressions for today? I you, absolutely love this place. I think you love it. You got a good situation because you live kind of kind of This is going to be my new home lake. It is. 110% my new home lake. Dude, that's so exciting because we actually caught fish today. You a said lot. You caught, you caught a lot on a vibe jig. How many fish did you catch? Uh, I probably caught right around 20. So between the two of us, if we were to like really hammer down, I took an hour break today too. We would have caught 70 to 80 fish for sure. Cause I caught I like, so. I caught like 30 or so. Because never being on the lake before, yeah. figuring Fig out the deal. Figured it out by like 10, 10 a.m. I yeah. was like, okay, I know what's going on now. Yeah, you did, you figured it out quick. Yeah, he actually called me. He was like, I'm catching him on a, a grass dealio <laughs> thing. And I didn't know what he was talking about, but I, I went to somewhere where I thought it sounded like what he was talking about, yeah. started catching him. And then it was just like everywhere it went. It was That's what I did. Same thing. Do, 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 the patterns, yeah. the patterns. So, uh, we're actually going to fish again here tomorrow, so you guys need to stay tuned. I think now that we're familiar with the we lake, do a ten rig challenge, a ten rig challenge. So if you guys want to see the crispy collector, go go against what, what's your boat's name? Uh, Black Knight. The black the Black Knight. <laughs> so Rob's boat's really decked out, perfect for this lake. This lake uh, or this boat honestly no, was perfect for this lake too. This is great. I'm a little slower, but honestly, I got into a <laughs> pond today. Nobody could fish. And I caught a ton of fish in there, guys. It was really cool. And it was awesome just to see fish react to lures that they've never seen lures before. And they would hit it and it'd be like, it, it, and did like you two, have this happen pounds. where you miss one and throw back and catch oh it? Oh my, like five that times. That never happens no. on a lake. Like literally like throw it out there, 
they don't know what to do when they see the river. Like, ah, I gotta have it. So <laughs> it was so fun. I, I can't wait to come out here and fish again, especially knowing what we know now. So thank you for tuning in today. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and we'll see you on the next one.